Also new tonight, a Clayton County man caught buying a 15-year-old girl for sex is now headed to prison. The case involves several men who bought and sold the teen multiple times in hotel rooms across Clayton County. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn has the details on this latest conviction by a state unit created for this very reason, Cody. Yeah, Jennifer, listen to this. An investigator on this unit actually reopened this particular case because it had been closed by local jurisdictions. That move has sent three men to prison and a fourth is now awaiting his day in court. Attorney General Chris Carr and the AG's Human Trafficking Prosecution Unit Chief Hannah Palmquist know Georgia has a problem when it comes to human trafficking. It's happening daily in the state and it's happening everywhere in the state. Monday, the AG announced the latest conviction tied to a trafficking case involving a 15-year-old girl. In 2019, the unit reopened a case in Clayton County, which had been closed by local authorities. We proactively investigate human trafficking cases. Prosecutors say a young girl was being sold out of two different hotels for several months to multiple men. Our focus is domestic minor sex trafficking, um, and there's certainly a lot of that. What it is is a trafficker will sell a child because they can sell them over and over and over again. The accused sellers, Theodore Brown Jr. and Christopher Weldon. The buyers, Gregory Benoit and Daniel Horn, the victim, a 15-year-old child. One of the traditional barriers has been the victim's reluctance to come forward and to participate in prosecution. Fortunately, in this case... With the help of technology, resources, being able to specialize, we've been able to overcome those. Christopher Weldon was sentenced to 25 years, Gregory Benoit, 15 years, and Daniel Horn, the most recent conviction, will be heading to prison this week. Now, this case is still ongoing. That fourth man is Theodore Brown Jr. His case is still ongoing as well. We should also mention due to COVID delays, of course, we saw during that time, these courts are backed up. In fact, as of tonight, 46 defendants are currently indicted under this unit, and their cases are pending a plea deal or trial.